lot of very talented people worked in this film. I hope you read through these credits and appreciate them. In the end credits, there's all sorts of flying bat dogs. We wanted to, you know, get people to stay with the credits. These were done by a variety of animators. Gabe Springer, Travis did several. I auditioned hundreds of bits of music from films to try to find which composer might be in tune with this film. And there was only one whose music felt like true childhood with lightness and darkness and mystery. It was Bruno Coulet, who I feel is a creative soulmate. I've never worked with someone who was so in tune with a project, so giving, so generous, and ultimately so brilliant at creating music. I think his music gives this film life and opens it up to reveal its true soul. It was a great pleasure to collaborate with Bruno. Well, collaborate, he wrote all the music. I would sometimes ask for a change and adjustment, and he was fantastic. Hello, my name is Bruno Coulet, and I'm the French composer. I was uh, very intrigued and very happy because they decided to contact me. I have a huge admiration for Henry. So I met him in LA and it was a great meeting. I was very enthusiastic listening to his vision. Then I returned to Paris and I received the script of Coraline and I felt very close to this world. First of all, I was haunted by the complexity of the characters and of the story and I tried to use my intuition. I believe a music composer is not there to reinforce the narrative aspects of the story but rather to grab what goes on in the background, the things that remain untold, and even sometimes to say the opposite of what is happening on the screen. For me, the lighting is also very important for the composer. I cannot use any kind of orchestrations, any kind of tonalities with facial lighting. Important thing for me, it's the relation between the music and the lighting. I think it was very important to make the music evolve all along the film. Uh, at the beginning, it uh, seems very calm, uh, very realistic. And then the music becomes more uh, fantastic, stranger. And at the end, the ambience and the music sound very disturbing. It was very interesting to play with uh, all these feelings, the brightness, uh, the humor, the, the absurd, the fantastic. I think for me, uh, on Coraline, the most important thing was to make a, a very emotional music. Uh, I think if the audience is moved, he can feel all the psychological aspects of the film, uh, the joy, sadness, hope, but also fear. For example, at the end of the film, in the sequence between the Corala and the other mother, we can hear very moving solo with the oboe played by Christophe Grandel, a very good French oboist. And in the same time, we can hear a very violent music with fast rhythms. Because for me, in this sequence, what is important is not only violence and the fight between Coraline and the other mother, but the emotion. Uh, Coral, it's a, a very important moment for Coraline, and the music has to be uh, very moving, because the audience can understand what is in the head of Coraline. I used also a lot of strings uh, glissandi, like for example, the sequence where the, the other mother becomes a metallic end. Uh, this to make the audience feel that everything is unstable, but the danger is everywhere. For the end title, suddenly we can hear very violent bass drum and then a song by the children. The rhythm is very fast and maybe the audience can think that the story is not over and maybe here the other mother is not dead. At first, I was very impressed by a lot of things, the story, the characters, and the opportunity to be part of a very, very unusual project. I was fascinated by the framing, by all the details that make it so special. 
everything is well done. You almost feel like you are watching real actors. And I was also very impressed with the character of Coraline. Uh, Coraline is never nice enough, uh, very often impudent. Uh, and it was great to play with this feeling too. Thank you very much, Bruno. Some say that the music and sound of a film contributes up to a third of the movie-going experience. I would say that Bruno helped breathe life and soul into every single scene in the film and brought the little heart of our Coraline lead character to life. It is immeasurable how important his music has been to the film. Merci bien, Bruno. 